Hello, everybody. The numerical group of SRK Vancouver is happy to share with you all here uh, an interface they have developed in the computational to uh, Python to simulate in laboratory testing in FLAC 3D. What this interface does, well, it allows you to simulate either common or advanced laboratory testing to calibrate parameters for diverse constitutive models. The best part of the interface is that because it's developed in Python, uh, then requires no license and requires no prior knowledge of FLAG. The team here will like to share with you uh, today how to download the code, the interface, how to execute it, and also wants to show you a couple of examples how they do these simulations. So I'll give the word to Osvaldo. Thanks, Diana. Hi, everyone. I will start with sharing my screen. So in order for you to use this script, you have to download uh, Flag 3D and you have to download the script. The link to download the script will be included in the description of this uh, video. And there are no other installation, uh, no other installation is required. Uh, this script will run in Flag 3D on demonstration mode. So there's no need for an additional uh, USB dongle or uh, license. Once you download the script, you will see a folder structure that looks like this, where you have an example folder, an output folder, and a source code folder. The source code has the soil test that uh, uh, py, which is the, the code that interacts with flag. You're not supposed to modify that. You don't need to do that. And then the example folders have uh, examples of uh, simple uh, tests, and we're gonna go through some of these uh, today. So the first thing you need to do, you, you have to open Flag after you, you install it, and you need to save the uh, uh, Flag project in the same folder where you download, uh, where you have the script. So, if I go to that folder, I have the scripts. I will I will save uh, these as uh, test. And now the only thing you have to do next is to open an example. So I'm going to open just this example test 100. You can see the the code, the Python code here. Um, and so. This 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 code has uh, uh, some uh, a few inputs. Uh, here we have the list of material parameters uh, defined here, where we are using this plastic hardening model uh, with it with its uh, constitutive parameters, and and you can select any other constitutive model available in Flag. You just have to go to to the Flag uh, 3D manual. And and select the different big different uh, constitutive models. This little script here will run a simple triaxial test, where you have to define the the inputs, and and this is the the la the few lines of code that will run the test. So in order to run the simulation, you have to you have to click on this green uh, button, and this will start running. When it stops running, it will show these basic plots that I'm showing here, and it will also save in the output folder a uh, uh, PDF with these plots and uh, CSV files with the results of, of this run, which, in, which include the steps, the stresses, uh, total stresses, strains, and pore pressure. So now we're going to see in detail uh, some other examples on how to run uh, multiple triaxial tests in in a loop. Eric. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Osvaldo. Uh, uh, now uh, I'm going to show you how to run multiple triaxial tests and also how to import uh, some laboratory data into this script so you can compare uh, the results of the script uh, against your real lab data. So I'm going to share my screen. And so Osvaldo showed you this, this file, how to use this file in the previous video. Now I want to show you how to uh, how to do a loop in this script so you can run multiple triaxial tests and also how to import your data. 
So for you, the only difference uh, is going to be like you have to define uh, the, mm, the set of simulation that you want to do. You have to define here in this test list, you have to define the Drexel ID, the type of drainage you want to simulate, and the initial uh, wave ratio and the initial confining pressure. That's it. In this case, we have defined a 13 uh, triaxial test here. And then what's the only difference it's going to be made here is that you have to put uh, here a path where is your lab data? That's the only thing. As long as you follow the, let's say, the format that we have in this test result CSV, you will be good. Uh, the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that uh, if you are, let's say, you are simulating here 13 uh, triaxial tests, uh, you have to import here like 13 triaxial lab real, real, real data, right? Um, yeah, and then that's it. Then just nothing is going to change. It's the same as Osvaldo show you. And then I'm going to hit it run here and it's going to work and it's going to be like this like for 20 minutes. And after that, uh, in the output folder, you will see a bunch of results here, but I just compiled all of them and, and put in this, this, in this in this PDF. So you can see here, this is what you're going to see. Here we are comparing our flag 3D simulation, which is the uh, blue line against the lab data, which is the orange line. And you, you will see that for every triaxial that you have defined in the script. And that might be useful for you to calibrate your model or to play with some parameters and the influence in the model. And that's it for me. Then, and now you will see some uh, cyclic uh, uh, laboratory results and some cyclic simulation, but that will be with my friend uh, Ignacio Cueto. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Eric. Um, I'm going to share my screen now. And as Eric told us, I'm going to show you a simple cyclic, uh, simple direct shear test. This is the most common test I usually see when we do uh, calibration for cyclic behavior of cells. Um, basically, this is the name of the file where you're going to find this simple test, the CY DSS under uh, slash uh, 100. Uh, the only things you're going to, to have to, to Touch or modify are the input parameters where you have the effective confinement stress, the K0 value, the kind of drainage you want to use, and the number of cycles you want to, to model. Then you have to decide if you're going to use a stress control uh, test or a strain control test. In this case, I'm going to model a stress, con strain, sorry, stress control test with the CSR of one, uh, 0 0.1. And this is the code that runs the test. It's going to, to take a while to, to get the output, but I've run it uh, beforehand. And this is the kind of results you're going to get. In this case, we're using the P2P sand model, which is able to capture the pore pressure buildup and how the, the strain is changing with each loop. And this is what you're going to get also in your output file and your output folder. Um, this is it for the cyclic mm -hmm. test. And now we're going to, to share with you how you can concatenate different kinds of tests. And for that, uh, Andres is going to share his screen. Hi, everyone. Thanks, Ignacio. Um, in this opportunity, um, I would like to show you our special special feature, how to run multiple tests. Um, this feature is very simple because it allows the user um, to run multiple tests in the in the special needs that somebody would like to concatenate, for example, a monotonic and a, a cyclic test. So I'm going to pick up where uh, actually Ignacio left us. So before, um, where you had your cyclic DSS test. Now, the special special feature of, our, of this code is that you can actually um, put, for example, in this case, what I'm showing you is a monotonic actual uh, DSS uh, test followed by the cyclic, cyclic. And it's just as simple as adding these two lines. So once that's completed, um, you can just press run and then it will run automatically the two tests. Um, in this case, I've already um, run the tests and once you complete it, it will uh, 
print the two values of the tests, the first uh, cyclic, and then it will run uh, the monotonic and printing the results um, on this second uh, scenario. So in this case, if we take a closer look, we can see that actually it runs a cyclic test and then it follows the monotonic as it was command in Flack. Now, um, this was for the uh, concatenated tests. Now I'm gonna um, uh, pass it over to Arsesi. So we hope you will find this Python interface useful in studying the response of sample in subjected in to monotonic and cycle loading and simple shear test. Yeah. We also hope that with this free tool, you will be able to calibrate a uh, constitutive models. Suggestions, questions, discussions can be sent to the numerical modeling group in SRK Vancouver. We on the numerical modeling group in at SRK Global are happy to receive your comments and suggestions and answer your question. Our activity focus on problems of advanced soil mechanics and numerical modeling using different constitutive models and different computational platforms. Thank you.